Hello, and welcome to A Pint of Cthulhu. It is I, Ethan, the Red Toucan, and I am the DM for this adventure. For this adventure, we have Josh playing Addison May, the Tabaxi Fighter. We have Soren J, aka J, playing Furby, the Furbold Druid. We have Captain Hero Man, aka Cap, playing Gertrude, the Hill Dwarf Barbarian. We have Matt playing Donovan Longhop, the Herringong Rogue. And last but not least, we have Cartman playing Vine E. Jackoff, the Air Cobra Ranger. All right, sit down, have a pint, and enjoy the episode. A word of warning this podcast is not for kids, so listener discretion is advised. Hello, and welcome back to A Pint of Cthulhu. Now, we are all back in, I believe, Fandolin. Um, If you guys could help me just a smidge, uh, what exactly did we do last episode? <laughs> did we, how did we finish last episode? I believe you talked to Don, Donnie the Don. Um, yeah. And got yeah. money for um, Thunder Tree? Am I wrong on that? Yeah, for courageously facing the dragon. For courageously sort of waving in the direction of a dragon, then walking the other direction. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Sounds good then. So, what is the plan this time? What do you guys got? What you guys got planning to do? You do know where uh, Cragmaw Castle is at, um, but you know you guys did hint at wanting to go back and fight the dragon for real this time. Are you still wanting to do that? Arch is always up for a punch up. I was going to say, I mean, Vi- uh, Viney has just come back and found and found his long-lost group. His, his uh, long-lost group. <laughs> after his debauchery. And so he's like, hey guys, what have you been doing recently? Have done anything fun? Oh, Fermi and... sees uh, <laughs> Viney and just fully takes a step back and starts clutching his head. <laughs> he's not okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I still have persuasive thoughts. Not for that. <laughs> Yeah, um, Furby's freaking out. So yeah, I mean, are you guys gonna tell me about this bloody dragon? <laughs> Gertrude doesn't. Not much to tell, really. It's just dragon, dragon coat, and a creepy old man, and a whole bunch of zombies. Oh, we should... well, that's fu- well, that's annoying. I, I could have spoke the damn thing. I speak dragon. Dragon speak common as well. Sounds like there's a foghorn going off somewhere. <laughs> Fucking damn it. <laughs> Every time. Perhaps we should go to Cragmore Castle. Get that out of the way and done. We still need to find our... Um... I can't remember his even name now. What was his name? Sildar. Seeker. Man, no. thanks so much for... The midget, the dwarf. Rock Seeker. That's Gundren Rock Seeker, Gundren. yeah. And Gertrude's old work buddy. I suppose we should head off to Cragmore unless there's anything anyone wants to do in town. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, we've all got a mighty rest in us. <laughs> I mean, you guys are, you do have the Fandolin map, so whatever. I mean, you guys go anywhere. You guys can do whatever you want. Um, I said if the next one is. Um, I mean, if the next one's just Cragmore Castle, obviously we can kind of just. I, I, I think we've kind of decided to sidestep random encounters for now um but oh, no, we guys, random encounters. We yeah, we'll, have, we'll, we'll have one we'll have one or two but we won't have a ton as well i think i think is what we said we weren't gonna have a ton of them so that way we're not spending an entire podcast episode just with random encounters yeah <laughs> so let's head to cragmore castle and feast down uh black spider i think we know oh yes uh, is this actually a black spider, or is it just a code name? Code name seems to be the case, given the uh, God. What was it? The Red Bandits. Are you asking me, or are you guys just was, ran? Was that ran what a... they were called? <laughs> red the red brands, brands. That's what it yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah, the red brands. Seems I mean, to be a code name. Are you it's asking me the DM, or what are we? No, it's just conjecture. Okay, just just just. Have just, a wee spe- chat. just yeah, okay. Just flapping the jazz. Okay. Yeah, flapping yeah. the jazz. Absolutely. Okay. All right. 
All right. All right. So do you guys have anything you want to do in Fandolin, or are we just heading straight to Cat Cragmore? Oh, sure. Is there anything actually that we want to prepare to grab, assuming that Mr. Spider is at home? All right, let's have a look at the old inventories then. Yeah, any gear that we would like to have for heading up to him. That sounds like a very good idea, because I've realised Fog of War is still on Cragmore Castle, and I can't remember how to turn it off. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so let's just spend an entire session deliberating, so Matt has time to work on that one. I think we should... Did we rest up at the end of last session? Yeah. Alright, good. So we, you, you've got full HP and everything? Yeah. Sounds like it. So we've all got the weapons we want, we've got the stuff we want. I need to change out a spell, but I don't know how to do that on D. Actually, yeah, I do if I can. Yeah, I can edit it. It's fine. Because I didn't have a healing spell <laughs> last time. I had not proper one. I had a good berry, but it didn't have a good berry. Yeah, so Gertrude doesn't have much in her inventory here. She's got two health potions. Uh-huh. And that cursed ring, which I believe has disappeared at the moment, so I can take it out of the inventory. But yeah, that's it. She just, all she's got is a couple of health potions in a wee pouch. Uh... I mean, I'm lucky. I've got one. I've got cure wound as part of my um, spells. Yeah, I'm gonna grab cure wounds as well. I'll be handy. I have two healers. Yeah, double the healing, double the pair. So it goes right. Um, should I maybe look around? And can I get a better bow than a long bow? You get a crossbow if you're proficient in them. They're pretty mm. good. I've not really got the proficiency though. I'm more uh. of a long bow bear guy. Is there any better weapon we can get to, then? Hmm. Well. It depends. What weapons do you have? <laughs> that would need to be better. That would need to beat. What do you, what do you, what are you re- recommending? Are you wanting to go to the blacksmith and try to find one? Line yes. Let's go we to could, the blacksmith. We could do okay. something unconventional, like see if we can grab some, if there's an alchemist around, we could grab like bombs or something, potentially. Yeah, let's go. Blacksmith yeah, and alchemist. Okay. All right. All right. Where, what are we? Where are we going first? Blacksmith and alchemist. No blacksmith. Well, I don't really need anything at the blacksmith. So I think okay. probably we'll head to the alchemist because I can't use metal anyway. Okay. All right then. If that's the case, it's just everybody but Furby. I mean, I'm pretty good unless there's anything better than one d eight plus three. Uh, if you want to go two handed, there is, but. You probably won't. Yeah, I'm uh, probably not going to do that. Yeah. I mean, my longbow is 1d8 plus 2, so I don't know if I can get it better than that. It's pretty good for weapons. We're just still going to try and find a way to improve our gauntlets. Actually, Joe, what I'm, I might be um, thinking about it, because I don't think I'm going to get a better way of getting a better, better bow. I might join Furby down the Alchemist, because I might get some smoke bombs. Do you have decent armour? That's a good point. Because uh, <laughs> I know rangers might have an armor rule, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I'm, I'm armor class 13, but I doesn't say specific armor. Uh, um, it should say in your... Where is it? Yes, I've got medium armor. Where does it say what armor you have? It'll say in your, uh, your, your items, shouldn't it? Yeah, no, I found it. I've got medium yeah, I've got... armor on. Medium armor. You mean leather armor? Just as medium armor. That will be your proficiencies you're looking at. Let me see. So ah. below where your where it says your bow and stuff, it'll see your um, money and then it'll see your items. You have proficiency in light and medium armor. Yeah, but what does he actually wear with me? Yeah. Uh, in his I'm items s- directly to the right. Probably yeah. leather. But I don't leather really. armor. Yeah, leather armor. Ah, yeah, never. So, Tugan, so unless there's anything that can give me better than armor class 15 or a better weapon, I'm probably not necessary for anything. Maybe a few healing potions. But again, saying that, I've got one already. Okay. Um, hmm. uh, Cartman, if you want better armor, you can try for studded leather. With a blacksmith. That should that be, be better than what you've got. But maybe if then if the bunny gets better arm, oh, I might I might wear his. There's a bit of a uh, size difference there, buddy. Also, I think any 
higher AC armor you get, Donovan, will impose a stealth disadvantage. Ah, uh, fair enough. Which your rogue, you know. But Carmen can get better armor if he wants to try. Yeah, I might give it. I might give it a roll. Cause if I mean, is is there is there something called mythic armor? If I'm right. Uh, yes, but we are a level. <laughs> we are level three. Yeah, but this that, year that... I roll a nat twenty. I get super lucky. And I mean, <laughs> try and get a mythic. Well, you have armor. to go talk to the blacksmith for that. <laughs> oh, two can. <laughs> and... Dang it. <laughs> right, so hmm. that would be Cartman and Gertrude heading to get better stuff, yeah? Hi. Okay. I'll take the board and go to the blacksmith. And potentially uh, Josh's character as well. I'll go to the alchemist with you guys, see if there's anything I can conjure up. I would quite like a few bottles of poison. I can. I, I just had an idea for that, because I have a cantrip called Poison Spray, and we could potentially bottle it. Hugan? Hmm. 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 Okay. So the way I'm going to do this... <sighs> I don't want you to be too overpowered, but if we're going to... If you've already got it... Um, I'm basically going to get, I mean, considering you guys are doing really well now, and no, Matt, back to your other question, I'm not going to let you have an armor class higher than 15. And That's really fine. hate. I really hate that Josh has 19, but what the <laughs> hell am I going to do about that? Um, but, hmm. Hmm. Throwable acid. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I'm happy to roll for my chances for like a really good armor. It had to be a really damn good roll. That's what I mean. If it's like, this is this is what this is the uh, this is the prayer I'm giving to the DM gods. I'm gonna have a ma magic roll, and if I get let's say if I get a nat twenty, then I should be, that should be a mythic armor, and that should take me a. Bite. You're not getting myth and, uh, mythic armor regardless of what you roll. Oh, come you're on. in a you're in a <laughs> goblin fucking village. If you think they legit would even have mythic armor, you're yeah, just, you're, you're they've, yeah. They've, there's they've no fucking all way. The, uh, nah. Was, um, you know, caravans, and they found this piece of armor. I don't know what it is. I don't know it's mythic. I think you should try and like. Obviously, took and control how you would. I think studded leather they probably have. Mm. It's like a decent off that, and then maybe plus one studded if he gets in that twenty or something. Because even one or AC is really impactful. No, that would yes. be pretty good. That, that, that would take me to 14. That's worth it. Can you not just buy studded? He can buy studded. Armor? Yeah, he can buy studded, but if he really wants to risk it all. I did want to, I, I, I do want to push it, because see if I can get better than just the studded. You just want to full-on risk it? You want to do a gamble? You want to gamble it? <laughs> oh, oh, I like where this is going. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Again, here's what's empty. going to happen. Um, Terry is the blacksmith. Terry, the goblin of the blacksmith. Um, he, he will 100%. If you get a nat 20, he will add, he'll turn your armor into studded leather. If you get less than a nat, a nat twenty, if you get a let's let's just say above a fifteen, nothing happens. If you get below fifteen, you go down one AC. He accidentally breaks a little bit of your armor. You want to gamble? There's your gamble. That's a that's a that's quite a price. For only that study, is, for, yeah. for, for only study armor for a nat twenty. Hmm. Uh... There's got to be a give and a take. If you want, I can't just start throwing out AC plus one AC. If there isn't going to be a, a uh, mm. if you're going to gamble, you got to give in something. You got I mean, to add to the pot. Buy the solid armor if it's in my price range. Hmm. But 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 if there was potential where you could improve the studied armor, then yeah, I'll be much more tempted for that gamble. But right now, I want to hit the price. Uh, hold on, let me get my robot out. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not prepared. We're really poor yeah, um, DM at the moment. Studded leather armor, 45 gold pieces. 
Yeah, 45 gold pieces. Why are you... Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah you should have done that, Carmen. Hang on. Bunny, Bunny said it. <laughs> <laughs> he took him. Take a look at that roll. Oof. And yes, Bunny did say it, because Bunny was Googling it. <laughs> um... Wait, hold, hold, hold on here. Hold on. You, what? Why did you do a charisma save? I was trying to do charisma roll. I did that. Because Carmen likes pushing buttons. Why? Because I was trying to get a slight discount from forty-four to make. You 40. need to. You can't just click buttons. You have to be like. Okay. Well. <laughs> it's a role-play it. game. <laughs> Speak to the damn shopkeep. Oh, I am. <laughs> you know, he started. You know, we were talking about gambling, and it's, but then the stakes were too high. So then I was like, okay, how much is it to buy the armor? And he, you know, he was fumbling around the label, he couldn't find it. And I was thinking, ah, oh, maybe I can haggle him down. And that didn't, didn't go too well. You didn't haggle him. You just rolled a button. Yeah, that's you didn't how, even that's how say good anything. You're just like roll. But fair enough. In future, I'll announce my roll. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Uh. uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's your roll. You got a yeah. oh, okay, okay. No, oh, oh, absolutely. No, I, 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 I will take it. Try to haggle. You just rolled. Yeah, you just like walked in and threw your leather armor in front of Terry and was like, "Yeah, do it." <laughs> I need better clothes, man. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Well, yeah. You just lost plus one. A you lost one AC. But I didn't gamble. That's a four. <laughs> if you weren't gambling, then why did you roll any dice? You only had to roll the dice if you gambled. Otherwise, you just had to. Oh, okay. I feel like we're wasting. I feel no, I, I, I was going to hang him down. This <laughs> He's going to walk I up to who's the who's the one who runs the smithy now? Terry. Terry, Terry the the goblin. Terry, my good sir. Ignore the idiot chicken. How much is it for the studded leather? Is it 45 or is it more? Ah, uh, studded leather. Mm. Be about 65 gold pieces. Right, here you go, 65, and I'll just give him the gold and give the oh, chicken I the meant armor. 75. 75? Now hold on, you do owe us, because we did give you the extra bits. And you did say a little while back to come back and there'd be some cool stuff for us. Ah, uh, 76. Terry, now, come on. All right, all right. 79. <laughs> Must we go get the dom? But, sorry, hold on. Give me one second. Uh... Are you threatening me with the dawn? Roll an intimidation troll. Roll an intimidation roll. Okay. Uh, let me find it. Intimidation. Oop. 18. God. Uh, you, look, look, look. The dawn's really cracking down on our prices, okay? I mean, you can go get him, but... It ain't gonna help for it, but I, hey, just between you and me, uh, can you do the 75? <laughs> yes, fine, it's for the chicken, here you go. Thank, thank you, thank you. Because I like you. I, pr I really appreciate it, he wipes, he wipes some sweat off his forehead and he goes, hey, thanks. Uh, I, yeah, as, as I said, it's the Dawn's kind of cracking down on prices. I, if you went and got him, I don't think it would have helped you any. But I can I can help you since he's not here, All right? Yeah. Fair enough. And I just throw it at the chicken and be like, put it on. Come along. Yay! Free armor. Well, no, it's party money, so it's not free at all. Gertrude, sensing that this transaction is over, just barges <laughs> her way to the front, throws her gauntlets down in front of the blacksmith dwarf, and says, "Make Gertrude deadlier." Hmm. What? Make make you deadlier? Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Okay. Um. Okay. And so he's not even touching your gloves. He just like walks into the back. He's there for about five minutes. I wouldn't even say not a long time, but enough. It's like he's obviously gone for a bit. Comes back and he puts down some really, f some really nice green foam Hulk hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Okay, they're foam. They won't do a whole lot. But let me just tell you, they're enchanted. With what? A cool sp look. I don't really know what they're enchanted with. I was just told they were enchanted by the merchant that dropped them off. Tell you what, I I, I paid fifty gold for it. Can can you just get me my money back for it? My wife is really on my ass for it. <laughs> <laughs> they light up when you hit something like Skechers. Oh, I mean, Terry, they. Terry, I, Terry. I, I I like I I don't know. He said they're really dangerous. I'm kind of scared, and my wife is really pissed off. I, about it. Can I just get my money back? I really can't sleep in the doghouse again tonight. I'm afraid your marital problems are your own, my good sir. <laughs> uh, they do work, I swear. T tell you what, tell you what. I will, will lose a little bit. I'll, I'll turn it down to 40. If you take them and, and, and you like them, I'll give you a discount when next time you come back, okay? Just... <sighs> Well, 40 gold pieces nuts. discount and just g go tell me if they use if they're not i'm so sorry i'll i will i will personally refund you your 40 gold if they are not enchanted gertrude, no what to do. Says, gertrude gertrude's not leaving her old gauntlets she, she, she takes her old gauntlets off the table takes the foam gauntlets off of them gives them the gold and she asks if he has any spare horseshoes uh i mean what we goblins consider horseshoes because we all ride Shetland ponies. So oh, I mean, that's so it, cute. It, it, <laughs> it, yeah, that's I know. Horse. It's real cute. Small people, small horses. It's horrible, but we can't ride those big things. <laughs> ah, Do God. you have any spare? Ah, I got, yeah, oh, yeah. Obviously, it's my, you know, as a blacksmith, I got to keep some. That's all spare at all times. just takes a whole handful of horseshoes with her as well. I mean, I don't have a lot. Uh oh, oh, you're just taking the whole. Okay. Uh, 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 okay. I'll just get right to making some more. Um, have to tell my wife I lost horseshoes too. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> this is when we find out he's not even married. Yeah. No. He, he's like walks. Scam oh. artist. As you guys are walking out with this bundle of horseshoes, all his horseshoes that he had available, and the foam going, you just hear him walk into the back, and you just hear him like grumbling under his breath. Got to make fucking horseshoes, ding! Got to make fucking nails, ding! That's been all fucking day, ding! And just getting he's hammering away. He's very pissed, very pissed at the moment. <laughs> but that you now have the horseshoes. So what are you gonna do, Gertrude, with these horseshoes and? Are you going to ask him to do something with them? Are you going to go oh, back in there? No, or? She just has now something else in her inventory other than health potions. <laughs> She's got <laughs> random horseshoes. <laughs> oh, so, what have I done? So oh, God, I should have asked first. A couple of health potions on it and just a ring of horseshoes around her waist. <laughs> she's, got a, she's got the four-leaf clover behind her ear. Then she's got the gold chain around her neck. <laughs> uh, Gertrude. <laughs> Furby knows he turned into a horse, but Furby doesn't need those. Please don't try and put horseshoes in my feet. Horseshoes on my feet. Yeah, Gertrude just shrugs. <laughs> <laughs> Where would be the best place to get poison? Well, the thing is, I can make poison. Are you what allowed would... to bottle it? It's that depends on the DM, but we do need glass vials. To store in. How, is it poison spray? Is what you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. Yeah. Um, poison not, spray. I, I wouldn't let you do it that way. Now, when I oh, say okay. that, is I would say, if you wanted to bottle poison, I would let you turn it. If you could turn into an animal and do it, but I don't oh, think I poison can... spray. Oh. Oh. Oh! I can turn into like scorpions and stuff. I can do like venom. 
Yeah, I would say I'd say you could do that. I feel a little bit weird milking Furby. Furby can turn into cow if you want, but don't think milk's poisonous. That's what they call it, milking for venom. Yeah, I know. Furby doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, well, Barthens provision to get some vials then first. Are you going to Barthens provisions? Wherever the vials shop. The last vials? <laughs> where, would, where would you say to go then? Uh, well, I mean, you can go in there if you want. There's an alchemist, but, but like, they shut down. His goblins yeah. took over. I mean, not really. I mean, I, 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 I pretty much determined that every single restore is still operational, just not the same inhabitants that it was before. I thought you. I thought Donovan went in there to flirt with the hot lady, found out that she wasn't there, and that the place also didn't do alchemy. But I could be wrong. They were getting set up. Oh, they Remember? were still. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. They were they're getting doing. set up. Yes, they're like, we don't have anything at the moment. You know. Okay. Well. Can I go there and get some glass vials? Because I want to make some poison arrows, basically. Uh, sure, sure, absolutely. It'd be Harbin Wester's home, is what it is. Um, okay. I believe if that's Harbin Wester's home, it's either that or it's Hale. No, Hallie is from the the Vandalin Miners Exchange. Sorry, we are <laughs> everybody at home. We are looking at the the Vandalin map here, and I'm trying to remember who I've substituted. Uh, <laughs> it's Harbin Wester's home. Yep. And that's uh, that is the alchemist. You go in, and I do believe, if I remember correctly, it is a man and woman pair, a goblin, goblin man and goblin woman pair, um, that we're getting set up. And you walk in, and it is vastly different from what it looks like before. Um, definitely looks cleaner, um, than when Harper's Harbin's wife was there, um, for sure. Um, and everything is all all the shelves. It looks like everything has been hit with a shrink ray because it's all now goblin size um as in like the shelves are just uh, probably went down about a foot each um to where goblins can reach them and things like that little tiny step ladders everywhere but it's all goblin oriented mm -hmm. um and behind the counter is is the goblin man just sitting there uh polishing exactly what you're looking for a little glass vial what can um, i do for you how much for a couple of those? And obviously, oh, this one to go in them. Uh, oh, these? How, how many do you need? Two? Just two? Uh, let's go for six. Six? All right. Tell you what. And he pulls underneath the counter, and he pulls out. It looks like a little vial rack, uh, a but it's inside a box. Um, and in it, it's, it looks like it's a pack of six, and but there's only five in there. So he just then quickly finishes polishing the one he's got. Eyes it for a second, looks through it, notices it's perfectly clean, puts it in there, puts a stopper on it, and takes a, the wooden lid for the box, and just kind of taps it shut with his little wooden mallet, ding, 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 ding. and he slides it across the counter to you, and he says, nothing for you, I owe you anyway. So, yeah. you, ta you take this, uh, I, I, had, I just had a batch in, I've just got done polishing that one, I gotta polish a bunch more, and he points to the corner, and there's about like five or six boxes that look identical to this he's like i just got these in uh so i'll be polishing them so yeah if you just want six empty ones take it it's all yours oh thank you very much much appreciated no problem let, let me know if you need anything else uh, i mean what kind of potions can we get from here at the moment what have you got in stock uh, let me look. <laughs> hold on hold on fuck shit ah eh. God damn it, where do you... Where is all this stuff? Where you can you sort of blame Cap for this, he's been showing me Borders Gate, so there's a lot more potions that I'm aware of. Okay. <laughs> Can't so... blame you nothing. <laughs> I know currently, though, I just see a lot of... Like, healing potions is about what I see in, in the starter book, the starter rule book which is about like what would pertain to where you guys are level wise um and i just see mostly healing potions but i'm gonna say obviously that'd be kind of boring that all the shelves are filled with healing potions i'm gonna say so you see 
obviously you see healing potions you recognize them there's a whole you know it's like one it's like there's walls on i mean there's a shelves on one side of the wall and shelves on the other one entire side of the wall is just health potions different varying sizes whether it be small medium large um the large ones though don't look quite right i would even say you're not even need to do like an investigation check or anything like that um to know that these probably were not done correctly um with the bigger sizes so it looks like normal health po po potions of healing though look perfectly fine um but on the other side is varying potions of varying colors greens purples blues different sizes different everything um but there's no labels there's no indication of what kind of potions they are so i would assume then you would probably have to ask him maybe but that's up to you well yeah i'll ask uh, so what are well, what are these gesturing at the potions uh so hmm how do i how do i really put this okay so that is my failures um but not quite in the way that you think um so you see as you can tell i i mostly stock up on health potions that's the most beneficial you know everybody around here does it um the one on the end though that purple one if you could see it on the end it's a it's a hair growing it's a hair growing potion don't ask me how or or why it does that um there's some green ones there um they kind of it, it, it's a roll of the dice with those. It either makes your penis big or small. So it's it's either a great, great spell potion your, your or penis it's a squirt? bad one. Yeah, yeah. I, I It was a commission, and it turned out that sometimes it works and sometimes it backfires. Uh, <clears throat> now, don't ask me what it does for women. I don't know. Um, I would hate to find out but it does do that but we also got some other ones um when i say that i haven't really tested them yet so tell you what i give you those vials if you would be willing to test a couple of these for me i'll pay you do i have to test them right now uh no i mean I would like to be able to observe the notes, but if you want to take them with you, and he, he pulls out behind the counter a notebook and a quill and an inkwell. And he says, I don't know if you guys got one, but if you do, could you write down everything that happens after you do it? Ooh, so I'd be very so. interested in this. Yeah. Experimental it, potions sound fun. Yeah, I'm just getting... I, I know I was getting set up before, and we... I did perfect the health potions. Potions of healing do work. Now, those bigger ones, they're not as... You said, that if you can tell, they don't look quite right. I haven't made them potent enough. They do still work, but they don't work as potently as they would for potions of healing that size. But the other ones, it's anybody's guess. Don't have it. Please, can we try some weird potions? I mean, I was going to see about feeding them as a chicken, but yeah, sure, go for it. We'll take the weird, mysterious potions. Whoa. Okay. All uh, right. Um, how many do you want to do? I mean, I really would kind of want to limit you on three, trying three of them at a time. Okay, let's go for three. Okay. And he walks over, he grabs his little step stool. And which is kind of hilarious because you guys are just tall enough you could reach the potions he's going for. But he's like, no, d no, I got it, I got it. He shoves you guys out of the way, and he's got his he's got his step stool and he like trots on over with his step stool to the shelf, get, sets it down, gets up on it, and is barely able to reach. He's like the tip of his fingers are kind of reaching the top of the the shelf, and he's reaching for a purple um, potion, um, and he's like, hey, I got it, I got it. I got it! And he... At this point, he nudges the shelf by accident. Um, oh. And, and the, the penis growing potion falls, smashes on his head, and he just turns and looks at you, and you see his pants grow, and then shrink, 
and then grow <laughs> and then shrink. And he uh, goes, um, can you guys grab that one? He points to the purple one he was trying to get, a green one and an orange one. I've got to go figure something out. And he hunts, hop off the ladder. And as he's running away, you can see that his pants are bulging, not bulging, bulging, not bulging, bulging, not bulging as he's running away. So he is apparently is um, out of <laughs> out of commission at the moment. Uh, but he has told you to get an orange one, a purple one, and I think a green one, I just said, I told you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... Orange. I've written that down. So I'm looking at the options for things that, are, that can turn into that are venomous or poisonous, right? Mm hmm And most of them have a swim speed, which means I can't do them. The only one that doesn't is the um, two-headed spider thing. <laughs> Oh, hell no. Can we not do, like, a snake? Uh, all the snakes have swim speed. Have what speed? Swim. So, the rules are wild shape for Mindrids. I can turn into anything that's CR1 or below. Uh -huh. That is a beast. But I can't turn anything into anything that has a fly speed or a swim speed. So no owls and no fish. Since all the goddamn snakes have a swim speed, I can't turn into them. At this level, Shogun, would you be allow willing to allow us just to do it for for poison? The Spider King would work. It would just be grossly uncomfortable because <laughs> I'd have a human face or a furball face. <sighs> I mean, it's just for story. It's not going to be anything serious. We just do it and be done with it. Okay, so I'm gonna. I, we're gonna. We are in Dungeons and Dragons, so that means. We'll let the dice decide. Excellent. Roll a d20 for me, Furby. Okay. I promise I won't swim well in this form. Just, no, that's an 11. Okay. So, you do turn into a snake. Um, kind of. Um, and I, I say kind of, as in, um, um, it's actually, it's, it's, it comes out, and to you, Furby, from your perspective, you you're a snake. You're you're slithering around. Everything's fine. Um, from everybody else's perspective, you're a very large earthworm. Aww. Uh, yeah, just an enormous earthworm. Like I'm talking the size of like you're probably a meter, meter and a half long. Wow, that's that's made yeah. Barney very happy. All that's of a sudden, a the big... biggest. Oh lunch. no. <laughs> Oh no. god! Oh dear Jesus! <laughs> what oh, you I, I forgot there's a bird in there! But all of a sudden, <laughs> Barney turns around and sees this massive earthworm and goes, Dinner? <laughs> Are you a. No, okay, I'm gonna ask this. I'm gonna ask this, Barney. Are you attempting to resist the urge or are you diving head first into the no, urge? No, I've got, got to attempt to resist the urge. Because oh, I yeah. know well, it's furry in a, in a way, but, but the desire to. To just peck at that worm is 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 quite great. Oh, oh yeah, so go Could ahead. That be roll. a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> I was gonna do constitution, <laughs> see if his willpower is even worth it. I, I, do uh, do... I think I, I got Would... the wisdom too. <laughs> no, you don't. Do constitution save. <laughs> Sorry, do I roll then? Yeah. Yeah, roll yeah, a constitution. constitution saving throw. Fifteen. Oh, 15. Okay, so yeah, you 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 pass. You pass. You. You're, you are drooling a little bit, and it is worrying Furby, but oh, Furby's also uh, very I'm, confused because Furby like thinks... Dog eating steak. Yeah, and Furby <laughs> is very confused as well because I think he still believes he is a snake. Yeah, Furby's going to squirm on over to Donovan. Oh, hell no. We're supposed to be doing the venom thing. <laughs> <laughs> and Furby is as yet unaware. I just want to find a stick and poke it and push it back. But no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I think we'll do the Spider King later on when we're on the way. All right. If that is the case, we will go to the world map. To the world map! Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> yeah. All right. And we are trying to get to Crag Mall Castle, which thankfully, unlike the other places, is actually the closest to Vandalin uh, than any other place. 
All right, so I'm going to roll the way this is going to go is I'm going to have you do one random encounter. Um, and this is, I'm not even going to roll for it because I actually have a, just say a, a, already have one written up. I mean, it's very interesting. Um, so you guys go about halfway. And if you guys do remember the last time from the dragon, it was very eerie how nothing impacted you at all like nothing hindered you there was not a single encounter of a monster at all um coming from thunder tree all the way back to vandalin but this time you make it about what you know about halfway because you guys do know exactly where it's at you've been told by multiple locations the goblins everybody um, where Cragmaw Castle is at. Um, and you guys are just traveling through the woods because Cragmaw Castle is smack dab in the middle of the woods. So when you reach the forest line, it got to the point of not being eerie anymore, but absolute terrifying because it is still not a leaf is moving. You see no leaves swaying in the wind. You, the only sound is your footsteps and the occasional snap of a twig as you guys, as they crunch underneath your feet. Um, and it's almost as if it comes out of nowhere, just smack dab out of nowhere is a clearing. And in the clearing is a campfire and sitting on a log near the campfire is Sildar Hailwinter. Oh. There's no tent. There's no nothing. There's nothing really even on the campfire. Doesn't look like he's preparing anything. He has no pack. It's just him in his usual, not even his armor. It looks like he's just in normal clothes sitting on the log staring at the fire. Little human friend! Ruby and other friends have come. Mm. Go I, fight, find Rope Boy now? As you say that, he, he casually, it doesn't look like he's startled by your appearance or anything at all. He just casually lifts his head and, and looks at you um, and smiles and he gets up and he walks away out, out of the out of the clearing just walks out and disappears into the tree line he's gonna try and follow him Furby, mm. one moment something ain't sitting kosher right now that's not I think Bonnie's right yeah I think it's a trap he thinks that's not clearly it's a trap <laughs> Okay, can I cast... Okay! And then Furby's gonna cast Detect Magic. Okay, do it. Go for it. Uh, so... Do you have to roll for anything, or is that just something nope, you just do? Nope, that's just something I can do. Within 30 okay. feet, I can detect the presence of any kind of magic, and we'll uh, see a faint aura. Okay. Um, in the area so the bear's magic. Perfect, perfect. Okay, all right. So the log and the campfire, all that you physically see at that moment is just radiating. Like it is you, that is all magic right there. And every single footstep that Sildar took to go to the tree line is highlighted like a trail, like a little, like a breadcrumb trail of every step that was taken. But they are just pulsing with it. I'm not even going to say this. To this point, probably some of the most magic you've seen. Uh, guys, was Sildar magic fighter? No, he was a bitch. He liked his a lot sword. of shits. A lot of shit here's real magic. I think we should get out of here pretty fucking quickly. Wait a second, could we... Uh, is one more thing to... Set the trail? Oh. Sorry. Hmm? Can we not set the trap off? We got like, throw something in there or something. We we don't know that it's a trap. We just know that he used magic to light the fire and the oh, we, was made of magic. Uh, I'm fairly certain we at this point should know it's a trap. Oh yeah, but also um, the only thing the only thing oh. else I learned from that spell 
is the school of magic. Uh, oh. remind me the schools. <laughs> remind me the schools of magic. So you one. get like evocation magic yeah. and stuff. Alteration, conjuration. You know, as the DM, I should uh, so know So I'll know if it's an illusion horrible. or if it's something illusion. else. Yeah. That's it. Illusion. Yeah. And one more. Oh. I can't remember what the other ones. But basically, I know the I know the genre of spell. I'll know if it's illusionary magic or if it, if it's a physical thing. He's conjured out of nothing or that kind of vague thing. I don't know particularly what spells he's used, but I know the kind of rough vibe of what the, <sighs> what he magically did. Okay, so it is. Hold up. I'm just more impressed that oh. Cartman under knew yeah. some of the schools of magic. Well, yeah, hang on, that was really neat, actually. What? Cartman been studying I up. The schools of magic. I mean, because I, I like know them because I know them from like Dragon Age, but I know obviously that like is vastly different. I, I know um, them from Oblivion, so that's the five. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it's not in Oblivion, is it? Alter- alteration is, yeah. Alteration is, yeah. Yeah, alteration. Is yeah, alteration. Yeah. Destruction. It's I think. Alteration. Yeah. Illusion. Yeah. Destruction. Nice. Conjuration and one more. Uh, That's basically the same as in D D. Yeah, good job. Wow. If now I'm I'm just go. I, I, I didn't know we were gonna go off Elder Scrolls, so I'm gonna go on this aspect. If we were gonna go off that, uh, whatever I mean, school of D and D school of magic would go off that. Yeah. It would would go. I don't even think they are. I don't know, but um, we're gonna go off. If we're gonna go off like Elder Scrolls in that aspect, this is emanating destructive magic. Okay. Like so, it is Furby's not, gonna yeah. Furby's gonna relay that the the log's gonna fuck us up if we go near it. It's evil. Gertrude <laughs> slowly unclips one of the horseshoes that she just bought <laughs> from her belt and is gonna wind up and throw it. <laughs> wind up at the Okay. Oh alright. Um hold on, let me figure out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what kind of role we would do with this. Uh, da, 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 da. Go, come on. Let me get it. Let me get up here. Come on. There we go. There we go. Don't I mean, be... if you want to make it athletics. Uh, yes, actually. No, throw it. Strength. <laughs> do strength. That is a oh, nat, nat 20. Nat 20. Okay. So. <laughs> so. Yeah. Gertrude just spins a wee horseshoe in her finger for a couple of minutes, for a couple of seconds. She flicks up in the air, catches it, and just lobs it directly at this trap. <sighs> okay. So, as it hits this because i it clearly does a nat 20 it's like an expert throw it looks like the guided arrow out of robin hood like it refuses to not hit this um hit this log it just goes up down around goes around and swings around a tree and then all of a sudden it goes through the fire of the of the campfire and the campfire just disappears as if it's an illusion and then it hits the log and when it hits the log it it the explosion is so big and so deafening that it throws you guys back at least three or four feet and it singes your eyebrows with them it feels like it singed your eyebrows with the amount of heat that it produced but that's I mean that's it you don't have any damage or anything but it was massive and as you kind of stand back up because you got thrown off you know thrown off your feet you stand back up and you look and where there was a campfire is just a small crater easily about five uh, five meters in diameter um, and just ash everywhere Mm, good throw I'm good throw. Well, I guess we carry on. <laughs> uh, when we saw Sildar leave, was he headed in the direction of the castle? He actually was headed in the direction of Cragmaw Castle. Nice. Uh, I can keep the detect thingy up for ten minutes. Okay. So I should still be able to see. He says footprints were glowing as well, yeah? 
Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm sure I should be able to keep a vague track on him. I'm gonna tell uh, absolutely. Him that I'm going to keep, keep the magic thing up in case he left anything else. And that's again like 30 feet um, around me. I can sense magic. Okay. Mm. All right. Yeah, absolutely. And I will say, um, now it, it takes just a smidge longer than than 10 minutes to get to Kragmaw House from where you're at, but Fair not enough. much, but, but not much longer to the point where as you guys are headed towards Kragmaw pa- Castle, you see the footprints all the way, like all the way up until the point where it finally stops. And then about five, six, five, six minutes later, you're at Kragmaw Castle, but you could just to kind of assume that they kept going that way because it's direct line. It, straight shot to Cragmaw Castle was these footprints. Hmm. All right. Hmm. I'll remove your characters. All right. So there is... Um, I, I do want to go ahead and add this, obviously. <clears throat> hmm. Um, there is goblins at in the original version of this Cragmaw Castle. Um... However, I will tell you what they actually are when we come to them. Um, Because they are not. But we are going to use the same stats as the goblins. Um, But obviously, most of the goblins in the area have went to Vandalin. Almost every single one of them. It's like an entire retirement place for goblins now at this point. So, um, as you guys roll up to the castle... (laughs) What? Are you guys laughing at each other's jokes in there? <laughs> We've been making cat jokes in chat for the last, like, five, ten minutes. Good lord. The cat pounds are real. <laughs> uh, well, now you guys gotta tell the class, because you've interrupted my speech with giggling. Did you bring enough cat puns to share with the whole class? Oh, uh, you know, I'm just not feeling on it tonight. Yeah, did you forget to bring that many? <laughs> uh, Come on, that would be a real catastrophe. Man, <sighs> Matt Burm is so bad lately, he's clawful. Well said. <laughs> that all... sounded a little familiar. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Pardon me. Pardon me for interrupting your session. All right. Thank you guys for listening to a Pine of Cthulhu podcast. This will be the last episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Me sideways, this is right? great. Oh, I think he's turning hysterical. <laughs> oh, I think we can keep this going for, forever. God damn it. Took Please, stop. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. Good God. Oh, come on, Sick. Be more positive. <laughs> Don't take it too personal. Uh, I feel Roman my soul leaving around. my body. Oh. <laughs> Don't have a tabby. That was a stretch. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah feel bad. Like, hold your, hold yeah, your, hold oh, your head. I thought it was perfect. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the game. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it hang in the air for a while. That's that's it, that's cat puns done. That's a segment. Oh. <laughs> right. Now, where's my sponsor from Whiskers? <laughs> yeah, that, that brings us to our first sponsor, Friskies, the food cat, cat <laughs> No. No. Okay. Now now I, I feel like I can't start this description. This totally serious, <laughs> dangerous castle we're going into. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what have I done par- making a podcast with you people? Uh, okay, anyway. The castle consists of seven crumbling towers of different sizes and heights, but the upper stories are all in varying states of collapse. A short flight of steps leads up to a terrace in front of the main... Why did they un Who the hell... I'm blurred. Who turned out the lights? Who turned off? Who turned on the lights? What the hell is this? All of a sudden, I've just got the sixth sense. I know where everything is in this. Yeah, freaking what the hell? They turned off the lights for me. It's just pitch black. (laughs) Matt, trying to to fix it. 
Matt. Oh, there it is. <laughs> God damn it, Matt. They can't see anything else. You just see the map. We can't see the tokens. Yeah, they, they're already hidden. <sighs> no, no, that fence in this room, right this room. <laughs> there you go. <sighs> Good lord. I clicked the Pardon wrong button. My bad. Yeah. <sighs> Past the wreckage of a pair of sundering doors lies a shadowed hall. Round towers loom over the entranceway with dark arrow slits looking down on the terrace. So, currently you guys are at the steps of this place. Um, and you, you, what you see is what I've just described, basically. Um, there is no nothing blocking you at the main door. Um, excuse me. Pardon me. Man, I don't know why I got tired really, really fast. Oh, oh God. Okay. Pull up, make sure I have the right one. Yes, I do. Okay. So... As you guys get close, you know, obviously the there is no door blocking you. It is not locked or anything. It is on the ground, just and you can see into the castle itself. It is just, you know, it's kind of dark. What do you do? Gurdred punch the door. Gurdred is mean, on the floor. It's there is no I mean you you wanna kick it while it's down? Is that what you want? Well, yes. Yeah, take that yes. door. She wants to kick the door. <laughs> Stand on top of it like you've got someone straddled on the ground. Yeah, just kick the door into the building. Okay. Alright, so you just wander on up. And as, as you do that, an arrow flies out past your face from one of the arrow slits and hits the wall behind you. Just oh. narrowly missing your face. Just sh how high up are those arrow slits? Mm. Out of curiosity. Uh, maybe two feet off the ground? Looks like they're on floor, like the other Oh, they're on the probably, same floor as us. I thought they were above us. Uh, maybe, let me see. It said they were looking down. They're also. over the entryway, so I'd say, actually, never mind, correction. They are two feet above the floor above, so I would say they're, you know, if it's a ten foot floor... Mm. Gertrude you know, reaches up into in the, the air. slit and tries to grab whatever shot out at her. Oh, it might be on the floor above. It was like it was like twelve foot above. I just noticed it said here that they're on the over the entrance way, so I would say they are in the floor above. They're on second floor. All right, okay, so she can't just reach in then. No, no, it's full so. Field. Hmm. Okay, I don't want to alert everything in the building, so I'm not doing that. Can I go stealth? Yeah, I was thinking. I need to be able to see them. I can't. Yeah. Uh, Furby might also try and stealth, like duck into the doorway right here, and then stealth, to try and get upstairs, find the place where the arrow people are. That's a fifteen on stealth if I'm allowed it. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um. I will say I will let you and Furby do the stealth checks. Um. But I want to say Gertrude could not. Because. Yeah, Gertrude, Gertrude, yeah. No, no bother yeah. with a stealth check there. She's yeah. already kicked the door into the building. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, okay, before, on. yeah, before we go, I'm gonna, before Furby goes, he's gonna lean down to Addison and Viney and go, uh, B Bunny and me gonna try and take out archers. Uh, two, good two of you stick with Gertrude, give back up. We could do that. And we could watch over her, surely. Yeah, and then you watch Furby Cheshire Cat style disappear as when he's head and step to invisible. Okay. okay, and it's and it's just you and 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 Donovan running, basically going in stealth. Is everybody just kind of like confidently walking towards the door? Then. Yes. Uh, I'm a little less confident after you say that. Yeah, I mean. No, you. I mean, I'm just saying. With with is Vine and and Addison also confidently walking towards the door with like next to Gertrude. Yes, I'm behind Gertrude. Okay, as you do I'm this, um, as you do <laughs> this, you 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 hear 
a voice yell from where it appears to be the arrow. So let's go. You hear my family. Oi! We've got visitors! They're here! They're here! And you can just hear there's a faint... You hear, like, another shouting. You can't really tell what they're making out, but it's getting fainter and fainter and fainter, as in, like, more and more people are yelling at each other to alert them. Um, and then you hear a what appears to be a bell ringing, like an alarm of some sort. Um, and now the entire place is on high alert. Um, but they do not know about Donovan or Furby, but they do know about you three. Um, and as they do that, they are going to try to shoot Vine with a bow. So let me go ahead and... I'm right at the bloody back. Okay, fine. As a 16... Do I get a save? I mean, you, I will. I, no, no, no. I will let you do a dodge because we're not an initiative. It's not. It's not quite fair for you to do that. I'm going to let you do a dex saving throw if you would like. Oh. Okay. Dex save fourteen. Four. E. Doesn't beat their sixteen though. Okay. So I'm not. I'm going to be nice. I'm just going to roll one d six, not one d six plus two. So just take two damage. This thing nicks, like just barely grazes your arm. Um, I'm even going to say it, it it grazes your right arm. So Furby's arm, now Furby actually feels it grazed and it's like, ah! But you don't take damage, Furby. But it does hurt <laughs> like hell. But wouldn't, that, but wouldn't that break their, um? but wouldn't that break their stealth? Because he, he just shouted. Why are you on the enemy team, Cartman? Cartman? Why are you working for the opposition here? Are you, why have you betrayed us? He didn't change your armor class. He still so wouldn't have 16. No, he'd have 14. Okay. Alright, but as you guys do this, you guys do make it past. They were only able to get in one shot before you guys got in. Um, I will say, as you guys come into area 2, as you can see, um, this is what you see. Doors stand closed on the north and south with a crumbling mound of rubble partially obscuring the southern hall. To the east, a broad corridor ends in two more doors leading south and east. The corridor is cluttered with dusty rubble and fallen plaster from a partially a partial collapse of the ceiling overhead. Ooh. Okay. So are we going for initiative order now or are we still out of initiative? Uh, yes, I will go ahead and do the initiative. I will go ahead and have an initiative order, and I will do the same as always, where I just do one initiative order for the the enemies. Oh, that would be a six. Two. Uh, no. All right, Gertrude gets 22. So she's ready to go. Hold on. 15 for me. 16. Huh, okay. I'll go with the first one then, I guess. Okay, so they got 17 on their turn tracker. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right. <clears throat> All right, so what do we do? I said you guys are in a hallway. It looks like the, ar the archers cannot reach you where you're at now. They actually, it does even say here, once you're past the, where the doorway was, they cannot reach you. Um, but they clearly, you guys all know, they clearly know you're there. They're, the bell the bell is faintly ringing in the background. All right, so can I see anyone? Uh, where you're currently at, no. Because both doors are closed to your left and your right. And there's a all door right. directly across from you. I guess it's just going to choose a door and barge in. Um, let me just... Um... <laughs> let me go ahead and roll a 1d2. <laughs> Sure All right, she's getting barred into the south right hand or... door. Oh, okay, you're just gonna, she's, Gertrude's gonna full on just head straight in. Yeah, she's not even gonna go for the handle or in. She's gonna run out the door and run through it. Oh, good God. Hmm. Okay. All right, okay. Well, uh, let me reveal areas. Right, so that should be this one here. <laughs> oh, you wanna go with that one? That's the one on the right, isn't it? Oh, oh, you're going to full... Oh, 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 okay, all right. Okay, all right, okay. Yeah, left, okay. right. Up, down, probably yeah. a better option. Were you... 
Or were you thinking here? Left, right? Well, you said to your right, so I assumed over here. I didn't know that right. door. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Right. So I thought, but if you're going here, yeah, left, that's right. a whole different... Yeah, because she was right next to those two doors, so we'll go for those two. So we'll go left, right, and we'll go over this door here. Ah, uh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, well, so the door you... to her right, she's just going to run through it. All right, this one, correct? No, this one. one. This one here. Every Good time one. they're There's playing th a different set of doors. It's like a Scooby Doo episode. Right? Yeah, I'm like, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now we're clarified. Okay, directly to the right. Sorry, it's because our token was on top of them. I didn't know those were doors. All right. As you guys go in, you burst through and ignore the tokens on the map. They're just they're kind of a placeholder. They can't uh, see them. I did for a brief second zooming in to see two tokens, I think. This is weird. How, oh god, Matt, oh. I, I'm really doing everything I can to try and figure out how to fucking get these things. Hold on. They're on the GM layer. They're now on the token layer. Oh. There you go. That's right. a lot of that's a lot of lads. Okay, so excellent. <laughs> um well here's the interesting thing. Um <clears throat> I'm getting sleepy. And so we're probably, I'm probably going to close this one up here in a second because it's a really good cliffhanger on this aspect. As she burst in, I said ignore the tokens, what they what they are. Because as you burst in, you... I'm even going to say this, Gertrude. You don't see what you would think you would have seen. <laughs> um, tell you, me what I do see. <laughs> you see three humans in villager clothing. And you recognize them as villagers that used to be at Phandalin holding weapons. One has a short bow and one has a short sword. They look at you. And at first you would think that the look on their faces of recognition, but then their faces turn to snarls and anger and they charge at you. Weapons raised, ready to attack. No issue. So wait, is it still my turn? Yeah, uh, I would say now. Um, I must have a boot tire, but I was going to kind of leave it on that. Because <laughs> I'm probably at the end of this one for that, guys. My head is swimming. I'm not doing real good today. All right, excellent. So, so right, we so start I'm tomorrow gonna... with a... Not tomorrow, next time with a with a fight. Classic yes. Gertrude beat down. But I did yes. think it'd be Gertrude really nice time. to end that with, with the whole... With the, uh, the really neat cliffhanger that there is no goblins, but it is the... The actual villagers that used to inhabit Phandalin. I like that. All right, we stopping our recordings now? Yep. Oh, uh, I'm stopping mine now. Hello, I am Matt, the editor of A Pint of Cthulhu. If you enjoy these episodes and wish to hear more, why not support us over on Ko-fi at A Pint of Cthulhu? Thank you very much, and enjoy the pint. Hey there, my name is Soren. You can also find me at Soren J on Twitch and at Daily Dingus and Pick of Cthulhu on Tumblr, where we'll occasionally post art about the campaign. Hello, I am Ethan. Um, if you guys want to find me outside of the podcast, I am actually a Twitch streamer by trade. I play I play a variety of games on Twitch. I'm the Red Toucan, but I also upload all of those to YouTube as well, Red Toucan there, and to TikTok, Red Toucan as well. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I go by Captain Hero Man, and you can find me playing video games on Twitch. Hi, my name's Josh. You can find all of my links at linktree backslash joshb66. That's l-i-n-k-t-r dot e-e backslash joshb66. Thank you. Thank you very much to Sirenscape for providing most of the sounds you hear in this episode. You can also find us on Twitter at a pint of Cthulhu. That's at a pint of Cthulhu. You can also give us a review on your podcast app of choice. Thank you very much, and goodbye.